Check. 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 Barnacles to Gup Eye, the Emperor Penguin Mothers are on their way back home. Not all the mothers. We're missing one. You're right, me hearty. Where's the penguin that gave me a ride? She must still be underwater. She'd never be late on purpose. Penguin mothers know when it's time to go back home. See? Something must have happened to her. She may need help. Dashi, take the Gup S under now. Captain, Emperor penguins can only hold their breath for 20 minutes. Then we'd better move fast. There, Captain. Good work, Dashi. Peso, let's bring her aboard. Oh. Easy does oh. it. This penguin's a lot heavier than you, Peso. She's an emperor penguin, the biggest, tallest penguin there is. And it looks like she's broken a foot and sprained a flipper. What happened out there? What? I remember swimming to the surface, but then I hit a chunk of ice. The next thing I remember, you saved me. Now I need to get home. You need to rest. But my family is waiting for me. Then they won't have to wait long. We'll bring you back to the nesting ground ourselves. Oh, thank you. The wind's picked up. I think a blizzard's headed our way, Captain. Any sign of the other penguin mothers yet? I can't see much in this weather, and the ice is slowing us down. Everyone, into your snowsuits, just to be safe. Way ahead of you, Captain. Barnacles to Gup Eye. Can you find us a path away from this wind and snow? Turn northwest, past the nearest ice peak. You'll be sheltered there. Understood. Thanks, Nat Quick. Feels like we're picking up speed. You'll be home to your family soon. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I seem to be bumping into a lot of penguins today. What's happening? The ice underneath us is cracking. Ice chasm. Optonauts, abandon the gut S now. Never a dull moment in the Antarctic. You had us worried, Captain. I'm all right, but I can't say the same for the Gup S. We'd better sound the Octo Alert. Any sign of it, Tweak? Nope, nothing yet, Cap. <gasps> There's that sea turtle again. The rover cam was following him when it broke. Let's ask if he's seen it. Yeah, he disappeared again. <gasps> Over there. Let's try and catch up with him. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Now which way did he go? Another tremor. Hold on, everyone. And split up the Gup X. We've lost the glider and the Octa Ski. And the Captain and Quasi. Tweak to Captain Barnacles. Come in. Cap? Quasi? Oh, it's no use. The radio's broken too. Tweak? Peso? Are you alright? We've lost contact with the rest of the Gup X. You mean it's vanished? No, it's out there. We just need to find it. But first, we need to get the glider moving. Let's go out and check on the damage. First things first, Peso. I gotta fix the Gup connector. Gup connector? I designed the Gup X so the different sections would always be able to find each other. Once the Gup connector is working, it'll pull all 
the other parts of the Dupix back together. Along with the Captain and Quasi. That's right. Now, can you hand me a number nine spanner? Of course. Blasted slimy seaweed. We'll have to pull it out. Who said that? I knew it. This sea is full of ghosts. I thought you said it was full of sea monsters. That too? Oh, dear. Whatever you be, you'd best be gone. I can't. Huh? I'm stuck, very possibly, forever. Oh. <gasps> A loggerhead sea turtle. The name's Lenny, and my shell is hard enough to protect me for now, but this thing's getting really heavy. Don't worry, Lenny. We are the Octonauts, and we'll get you out safely. You may want to pull your head and flippers into your shell just to be safe. Who wish I could. We loggerhead sea turtles can't hide inside our shells. Our heads and flippers are too big. I think, um, I may need a little help getting my tentacles untangled. I'll get you out, Professor. Those rocks are no match for me. I'm almost <laughs> got it. It's not safe down here, Quasi. Get out while you still can. A pirate never leaves his crew behind. Or his tail. Captain, I'm picking up some big tremors coming from the midnight zone. The sea floor is breaking up. Come in, Captain! Tight! Giant bowlers! We've lost contact, Captain. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, Professor Inkley and Quasi are trapped in the Midnight Zone. They're wedged in under some boulders. We have to get them out right away. Tight space, heavy lifting? Sounds like a job for... The Octomax suit! Just what I was thinking. The air tank is only good for a short mission. Then we'll have to work fast. Tweak, Dashy, Peso, let's go. <laughs> There's the Gup E. Hmm, they must be down there. It's up to you now, Dashy. We'll monitor your air tank from here, but you'll have to work fast. I'm on it, Captain. Any sign of Professor Inkling and Quasi? Not yet, Captain, but it's dark down here. Activating searchlight. Bingo! I see them. I'm going in, Captain. We read you, Dashy. Keep us posted. Looks like you two are in a tight spot. Dashy! Don't worry. I'll have you both out of there in no time. <sighs> oh. 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 It's too heavy. Now what? Don't worry, Quasi. This suit has a few more tricks up its sleeve. Activating Jackhammer. One tentacle free, two to go. Well done, Dashy. Now, move the jackhammer to your right and down. I'm still hungry for octopus. Let's swim back slowly. And then we'll open our jaws and... Go! go. Hey, so I'll help you, mateys. My claw hurts. When he hurts, I hurt. That claw needs a bandage right away. Good as new. Wow, I feel better already. When he feels better, I feel better. Could you put us back together now? Oh, there you go. Thanks. Merry Christmas. Hey, guys, over here. Captain, it's the Golden Coral! 
Hello, old friend. Oh, my. Are you all right? Inkling? Well, it looks like I'll be spending Christmas upside down this year. Hello, I'm Captain Barnacles of the Octonauts. We'll get you out and the right way up in no time. Dashy, we're going to need the Gup Sea. Right away, Captain. On my signal. One, two, three. Easy there. <gasps> ah. yeah. That was a close one. And now one more push to turn her the right way up. That's better. Thanks for getting me out in one piece. And not just me, but these baby sea snails. They rely on me for protection. Thank you, and Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas to you too. You haven't seen my nephew squirt anywhere, have you? Oh dear, I'm afraid I haven't. Don't worry, Professor. We won't give up until we find him. Aye, but how? Look, ink. Where there's ink, there's an octopus. Yes, Captain, we octopus shoot ink when we're scared. Squirt must be trapped in there. Squirt! Squirt! Captain, I volunteer to swim inside and search. It's too dangerous, Quasi. These rocks could move and fall on you. Then I'll take the gut bee. The gut bee's not strong enough. None of our gups are. They could all be crushed by falling rocks. Hmm. Cap, I think now's the time for me to give you your Christmas present. A Christmas present? Now? Don't believe it! Professor Natquick? Oh, I don't believe it! Barnacles! <laughs> Did you call for help? Yes, yes! I was beginning to think that nobody heard me. <laughs> Octonauts, this is Professor Natquick. When I was a young polar scout, he taught me how to do field research in the Arctic. And I'm happy to see you remember what I taught you. How to recognize tracks, how to listen for sounds that others miss, and... <laughs> <laughs> How to dodge one of my surprise novels. <laughs> Very good, Barnacles. Thanks. But what are you doing so far from home, Professor Natquick? I came here to do research in the Antarctic many years ago. No one knew you were still here. My radio broke long ago, but I couldn't leave. I'm on the edge of amazing discovery. But it may soon be lost. Lost? Why? Follow me. Click, click. This is why I called for help. <gasps> I realized that the ice was moving and pulling the station into this enormous ice chasm. When it falls in... All of your work goes with it. And disappears forever. As you can see, it could fall in at any moment. Then we've no time to lose. Tweak? We can pull this ice research station to safety faster and you can say bunch of munchy crunchy... <laughs> Octonauts, let's do this. Yeah. Uh, uh, activate snow spikes. Thank you, Octonauts. You saved the station and my life's work. Now I can share my amazing discovery. Follow me. Click, click. I always pounce on the chance to investigate a strange new sound. When I arrived in Antarctica, I discovered this. 
the bloop sound. But who or what was making it? That was question. I tracked the sound deep in the eyes until finally I discovered that the mysterious bloop is made by... A humongous blooptopus. No, it's... A gigantic bloopzilla. No. A monstrous blooperoceros. No, no. The bloop sound is made by enormous ice quakes. Ice quakes? Yes, yes. Is the sound the ice makes when it breaks... Actually, it looks like I've got you. Take good, me octopus! I won't be able to follow that pup anywhere if that octopus gets her first. Uh, I know. Ah, take a shot! <laughs> Tweak's new camouflage worked like a charm. That old octopus thought I was a... <gasps> take a shot! Wait! I'm not really a tiger shark, I... Oh, these little pups really do get confused by the cups. Quasi to Shellington. I'm following one of the hammerhead pups, and she's a wild one. Good work, Quasi. Don't lose her now. Well, that's two of the hammerhead pups. Just one more to find. I can smell food. I just can't see it. You can't get away from me! Hey, where'd you go? Oh, my head is stuck. <laughs> hey, somebody, help! Look, down there. The third hammerhead. And he's stuck. We're the Octonauts. We're here to help. <laughs> he's really stuck. We'd better call for backup. Oh, the last one. Peso, Quasi, come in. We found the third pup, but his head is stuck. We need your help. Stuck? We've got to help me, brother. Captain, we're on our way. <laughs> come on, our brother's in trouble. Oh, no. <laughs> Little pups put up a good chase, don't they? You're telling me! <laughs> uh... Peso, Quasi, over here! Oh, oh, ouch! This does me feel too good. Some slippery pointment should help slide his hammerhead out. Good idea. Everyone else, grab a fin. <laughs> don't worry! We'll have you out and swimming in no time. On my count, everyone pull. Ready? Three, two, one. Uh, guys, look behind me. Oh, fascinating. Hammerhead's eyes allow them to see what's behind them, like that. Shark! <gasps> this should give him something to chew on. <laughs> oops, oops. Hey, those things don't taste too good, do they? I'm sure you'd taste a lot better. <laughs> uh -oh. Hey, bet you can't catch me. Peso, follow me and bring your friend. Then we'll have to find some way to move the octopod. I think I found the problem, Cap. Looks like something took a chunk right out of the engine. But don't worry, I'll have it fixed up faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunch. Huh? Tweak, what was that noise? I don't know, but now there's another missing chunk. Hmm. Actually, Cap, this could take me a while. If we can't fix the engine and move the octopod in time, then we need to find a way to stop the meteor. Shellington, Inkling, what else do we know about meteors? Well, as you can see, they look like big black rocks. Yes, but they're actually part metal. Metal? That's right. In fact, they can even be magnetic. Hmm. Magnetic. <gasps> that gives me an idea. Quasi, peso, to the guts. <laughs> Octonauts, these magnets should stick to the meteor and slow it down. But it's moving fast. We have to shoot our magnets and hit the meteor at the exact same time. Quasi, peso, take your positions. Coming in fast, mateys! 
Get ready. Steady. Steady. Dashi, I'm attached to the meteor, but I can't stop it. Prepare to evacuate the octopod. Attention, octonauts. Report to the launch bay. We need to leave the octopod immediately. Huh? Where's all this sand coming from? So you're what's been taking chunks out of our engine. Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. There are just so many interesting things to munch around here. Well, you'd better clear out. A big rock from outer space is about to hit the octopod. A rock from outer space? That sounds delicious. Hold on. If you can chomp through this engine, I reckon you can chomp through that meteor. Chomping rocks is my speciality. And I've never tasted one from outer space before. Um, do you have any friends around here? Second time lucky, Captain. Ready, Peso? I can do this. I can do this. Well done, you two. But it's still not enough. Don't worry, Cap. Help is on the way. Patty! I really have to thank you for signing up for the Iron Clam. Without you, I wouldn't have a chance to win again. Don't be so sure you're going to win this time, Hugo. My big brother's a great athlete. Of course he is, little guy. May the best penguin win. Even though it's kind of obvious who that's going to be. <laughs> Welcome to the Iron Clam! The race that pits penguin against penguin in three exciting events. Sliding, diving, and swimming. A penguin must win two or more events to win the race on this special trophy. Oh, the Iron Clam. Event number one, sliding. I shall throw the Iron Clam down the slope. Then, the racers will slide down after it, penguin style, on their tummies. Whoever catches it first wins the event. Let the countdown begin. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Come on, Captain, we're gonna miss the race. Uh, uh. Quasi, activate skis. And Hugo takes an early lead in the sliding event. Look how he takes that curve. Whoa! Peso's off to a, a slower start, but there's still plenty of time. A perfect turn for Hugo. Uh-oh, Peso's having some trouble. Catching up. And Whoa. Yeah! Who says penguins can't fly? Uh quasi, they can't. Flappity flippers! It's a wipeout for Peso! Oh. And the winner is Hugo! Peso, you'll catch a cold. Are you okay, Peso? I'm fine. I'm just sorry I let everybody down. Don't worry, matey. The race isn't over yet. That was just the first event. There's still two more to go. <sighs> Don't feel bad, Peso. This was your first time. The first time I did the sliding event, I almost lost too. Though, of course, I ended up winning, so that's not really the same, is it? <laughs> Please take your places for the second event! 